What's up guys? Welcome back to another What Sold video. Today I'm bringing you 31 items that sold in the month of January. Since there's 31 days, I just thought I would pick one per day and try to go through them relatively quickly. I got a lot of bolos and I'm actually going to be doing a second What Sold video for the month of January with all the tools specifically that I sold. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been selling a crazy amount of tools from this one haul that I got and I wasn't able to make a video about it because the lady asked I didn't record. So anyway, be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a second video. This one is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, January was a great month for me as far as sales go. I sold a lot of stuff on um, many different platforms. So what I'm going to share with you guys today is what sold specifically on eBay. This is not all of my sales, but it's a great variety to hopefully teach you guys some certain different items that you may not know about um, or that maybe even the value you didn't think was there. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the first item is going to be this Diodora Vintage Authentic Ski Fur-Lined Boots. Um, I actually picked these up at the bins a long time ago and uh, they were a little dirty. I cleaned them off and I had, them, I had 32 watchers on this item and I decided to send out some offers uh, recently and there was... Um, I sent out an offer $90 and someone bit and I woke up and there was a full price sale. Well, $90 sale on this item. Diodora. Some of their stuff sells really good. It's like an Italian made brand and um, they were like a goose down, you know, um, like kind of like the North Face jackets, like puffer boots, I guess you could say. And uh, there were some stains. I disclosed that in the listing and but a buyer paid shipping. So a great sale right there. The next item, uh, football stuff, sports stuff, always sells very well for me. This was an FSU Florida State Seminoles jacket. Um, this one had a little graphic on the front and the big graphic on the back. That's what I was trying to get to right here. So as you can see, this is just, um, there were a couple flaws in it and I always notate that stuff in the picture. I show the flaws and I put it in the description. This sold for best offer of $40 with free shipping and I was not able to fit it into a padded flat rate envelope but um, I ended up getting this for free from a friend of mine who I was helping him clean out his father's estate and he gave me some clothing out of the closet and this was one of those items. Next up is a great sale. This was uh, 30 Hog Magazines. Now, these are motorcycle magazines. If you guys saw my first video where I was at a private pick um, at a storage unit from a lady, this is where I ended up getting all the tools from the second time. She ended up six months later calling me back and saying, hey, I got to be out of this unit. Do you want to come by and pick through it again? And that's when I went through all the tools and that video will be out soon. But this was in the first lot of the haul of stuff that I got. And this ended up going overseas to China, sold for full price of $74.99. And the buyer ended up paying shipping. I had free shipping on it. It would have went media mail, but um, certain magazines and um, you know reading material is very uh, popular. So especially motorcycles, I don't really know much about these specifically, but when I looked up the specifics of the hog magazines, it's a Harley Davidson specific. So if that tells you anything, then there you go. Um, some people say that you can't ship magazines, media mail. I am not an expert on that. So if you're watching this and you're going to leave a comment saying you can't ship magazines, media mail, I've already been told, um, I guess because it was going overseas, I only had to ship it to Kentucky or whatever. So I guess I'm just, you could say I was willing to take the risk on that because I didn't know at the time that I sold these magazines because I don't sell a lot of magazines. Uh, this is a clothing item. This is just something that I figured I'd show you guys because I had never sold it before. And this is St. James. I'm trying to get to the tag right here. This is like a French brand, I guess. And this is kind of like YSL, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Yves Saint Laurent or whatever, Yves Saint Laurent. You know, um, some of these fancy brands, I don't know if there's fakes out there. I don't know if this was a fake or not. I, from my research, it looked real. And so um, I ended up listing it pretty high and there was also a little flaw on it. I got this at the bins, but um, I thought it was a great piece when I looked it up. The comps looked great and it was on sale 25% off and sold for $52.49 with the buyer paying shipping. So be on the lookout for St. James. There's the, the little logo, kind of like the Polo Ralph Lauren, you know, how they have the little pony on the corner. This was a, um, not anything specific, like it wasn't a wool sweater, it wasn't cashmere, 
or anything like that. It was just a, a vintage sweater. So um, just a little quarter zip, you know, pullover. But people like certain brands. So, you know, don't ever be afraid to look something up if you've never sold it before. Next up, this is a cool little sale. I sold this when it was I was running a 25% off sale this month on clothing specifically. And um, I had this vintage Willie Nelson shirt um, on sale, 25% off, like I said, from $75, which I always price my vintage clothing high because I know I'm going to get offers. And you can see the Zion Rootwear tag. I'll get the uh, close up here. There was nothing on the back, but Zion Rootswear is kind of a little bit of an older tag for vintage clothing. Not super old, obviously, but um, I believe it's like early to mid 2000s. This was a size medium. I got this with uh, Joey Bottabing 22 and Harry Tornado. Shout out to you guys when we visited uh, Josh in South Carolina at a thrift store. I paid like $4.75 for this or $4 and it sold for $56.25 plus shipping. Next up is just something to always be on the lookout for is military boots. I normally pick these up for $10 bucks at um, thrift stores and flea markets, even garage sales. And they tend to always sell very well for me between $40 to $60. These ones sold for full price of $59.99 with the buyer paying shipping. And the brand is Altama. Uh, I believe that's how you say it. Um, they have the tag right, right there, as you can see. I think I have another close-up. They were the Vibram or Vibram Bottoms, however you pronounce that. And there's the tag. Um, they were in overall really good condition. And you could still see the size printed on the tongue there. So that's another reason why I picked them up. But um, overall great shape. They did have some wear, but you can see that. But military boots... Most of the time, people don't care if it's minor flaws, so be on the lookout for those. Almost every What Sold video I've made in the past couple months has included some type of Magnolite product. Uh, shout out Hustle and Hooks, hashtag Pots and Pans. I picked up a huge lot of like over 27 pieces of Magnolite uh, from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $75 for all of it. At this point, I'm like almost over $1,000 in sales on the Magnolite. I'd have to go back and add it up. This was one of the last of the bigger pieces that I had. This was a seven quart pot with lid. And I believe someone sent me an offer of $69.99 and plus shipping. And so I accepted that offer. Uh, this one, I listed it at $79.99. So be on the lookout for Magnolite. This one specifically is the Magnolite GHC. As you can see right here, not all of them are going to say GHC. And there are some that are worth a lot more than this specific one. So, but Magnolite is a great bolo. So is Salad Master. So is Amway, Emeralds, Farberware. There are so many pots and pans out there that sell for great money. Here's the other Magnolite that I sold that I just wanted to share. Again, this one is um, just a frying pan. It sold for $29.99 plus $8.55 shipping. And I had three of these and I've already sold two of them. So this was the second one of the pans, the skillets that I've sold. Magnolite, again, is a, just a great bolo. Next up, I thought these were really interesting um, just because of the graphic, like the color uh, made these, I think, sell. They are a Nike Free Trainer 3.0. And if I'm not mistaken, the Free Trainers are at least on the 5.0, maybe even the 6. But I think the graphic and the colorway on these is what sold them. I was running the uh, an 11% off sale on shoes at the beginning, very beginning of the month, the first weekend, I believe. And uh, someone uh, purchased these for full list price after the sale for $42.71 plus shipping. Most of my shoes, you will see, I have an average buy cost of anywhere about $8 to $10. Um, if it's lower than that, I would let you know. But that's about the average that I pay at my thrift stores when I'm sourcing. These I got at the flea market with my buddy Dalton. If you're watching, uh, dealing with Dalton on YouTube and Instagram, he's a full-time shoe reseller. And we go to the flea markets and pick up shoes a lot. These were in that lot. We paid $5 for them at the flea market and it came, it helped us with our average buy cost, which is about $9 per haul that we get at the flea market. Um, and these are Vans, Peanuts, old school Charlie Brown shoes. Um, it's a collaboration that Vans did with uh, Charlie Brown or Peanuts or whatever. You can see there was a couple of flaws on them. Overall in really good shape though. A little bit of wear on the bottom but they still sold for $104.99 free shipping. But with athletic shoes on eBay, you don't pay fees if they sell for over $100. So I didn't have to pay fees. These cost me about $8.50 to ship out. So, you know, minus the $9 cost of goods is a great, great return on your investment. 
this was a nice little sale right here. Uh, just something different that I don't normally pick up stuff, but I ended up picking up a bundle of these Disney store plushes, all new with tags at Goodwill. It was in like a, a, a mattress or a, a comforter bag like you would get from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like all zipped up and they wanted $2.99 for the whole bag. And I've sold a lot of these. I've shared them on previous What Sold videos. This was a Cinderella, the three, um, the three mice right here, Gus, Jacques, and Susie. And they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So vintage Disney plush, especially new with tags, can sell very well. If you look at the tags, I believe I even put it uh, right there. You can see it says nine US $6. So these were originally $6 at the Disney store. And they sell, sell now for more than what they were back then. So pretty cool. Next up, this was from my bundle that I got with my buddy Ski. Shout out to you if you're watching. These are the Nike uh, Air Max 1 white photo. I don't know much about these. I look up the tag number on all Nikes when I'm sourcing. Uh, but I got these in a bundle with my buddy Ski, like I said. There's the tag number right there. AH8145-112. And I looked that up and I see that comps looked great for him. My average buy cost from that bundle with Ski was like absolutely insane. It was like $2, between $2 and $3 a unit. I got clothing. I got shoes. He threw in a Carhartt blanket jacket that I sold for, I think, around 100 bucks, And um, it was just a great deal. And uh, so, yeah, I sold these. I accepted a best offer of these for these of $115 plus shipping. I had them listed for $160. Hadn't had any hits on them. It's a specific size, 11 and a half. They were a little dirty on the tops, as you can see right there. And I got an, a $115 offer, and sometimes it's just not worth it to counter and miss the opportunity, especially when there's no fees. So I went ahead and accepted that. Again, about $2 to $3 invested into these shoes. Next up is some ink, these toner inks. If you guys don't know about toner, uh, if you can get them for the right price, they are major bolos. Uh, HP LaserJet is a, one of the main brands where you can get um, them super cheap. I got these in a bundle from a friend of mine who was clearing out an office space and uh, we came to an agreement, almost like a consignment deal where I'd give him a little bit of the profits, but I have nothing into these. This sold for $50 plus or free shipping and it cost me about $8.50 to ship out priority mail. And so I obviously have to split that with this, the uh, seller of, they're the owner of the ink, I guess you could say, or the toner, but um, we came to an agreement. I thought it was very fair and these sell very fast. So yeah, great little item right there. You can find them for thrift stores between five and $10. It's a great pickup. Next up are these Vans Pro Skate uh, Maroons. The reason I'm showing you these guys is because they are a size 18 guys, size 18 right here. I just wanted to show you that big shoes do sell. Uh, and these actually didn't take very long to sell and I sold them twice. I ended up selling them and I'm showing you this just so you can learn how the, the business works is I sold these on eBay um, and a buyer returned them saying that they didn't fit, which if you're a size 18, you should know your shoe size. I could understand maybe like a 10 or a 10 and a half, but if you're an 18, you should know your shoe size. He returned them. I was a little salty about it, but you know, whatever I, they came back fine. I relisted them and within a day. I ended up selling them again um, when I ran my sale for $44.49 plus shipping. So big sizes do sell in certain brands. Um, Hoka would be a great one, for example. If you find a size 14, 15, 16 Hoka, they will still sell for sure. Next up is this SodaStream Genesis unit that I got right here. SodaStream is very popular. People like to make their own, you know, it's like the natural bubbly stuff. Uh, it's like seltzer water almost, flavored sodas. And I picked this up at a indoor flea market for 10 bucks and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So, you know, a great return on your investment. The sell through rate is good. I had it for probably less than two months and I'm just happy to have bigger items like this, you know, move relatively quick in my store. This was a flea market pickup. I paid $2 for this Xbox 360 controller with the uh, chat pad is what it's called right there. That's the key term. Uh, Xbox 360 controller with chat pad. Uh, I sold it for $30 free shipping and it sold almost instantly like overnight. I think I listed it one night when I was working and I woke up that, that next day and it had sold for full price. And this is going to go first class. It costs about $4 to ship out. So you have about $4 in shipping, $3 in buy cost, $7 plus your eBay fees. You're still going to net profit about 20 bucks on something like this. 
this was a random item that I just am sharing because I found it at a Goodwill. Electronics always catch my eye. Anything that says Radio Shack or vintage um, electronics that are in the box still catch my eye. I think I paid $5.99 for this at a Goodwill I don't normally go to. I shared it on my Instagram a while back. Uh, I didn't I didn't even test them or anything, obviously, at the Goodwill, but then I tested them when I got home. This is like an intercom system. I don't know. Again, I'm sharing this because it was in the box, and I scanned the barcode and saw that there was a market for it. There were hardly any listed and very, very many sold, and most of the ones that were sold only had one of the stations there. This one um, had two of the stations which I believe is what they come with, even though there's three in the box. Actually, the box says includes three stations. And that's another reason why I wanted to share this, actually, now that I'm reading the box, is because I only had two of the three stations, and it's still sold. Uh, for $49.99 plus shipping. This was a full price sale. So be on the lookout for stuff that may not be normal for you, but if it's like in the box and everything looks clean in it, it can definitely be worth picking up. This was a great pickup for me. Uh, this was a Jungle Green Nintendo 64 with the red jumper pack. Obviously, video games sell very, very fast. I got this in a bundle with a couple other things uh, from a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I believe I paid $50, and I, I listed the Jungle Green uh, uh, system. I can't think of the word. The console with a like a see-through matching controller. It's not the Jungle Green controller. It's actually a third-party not even Nintendo brand, but I thought that would look better than like a basic red controller or something. So I paired that up. I had already had that from another bundle and this sold for fullest price of 140 plus shipping. Um, this red jumper pack is something to be on the lookout for. Those can sell for $45 by themselves if you choose to separate that and you have the basic, you know, regular um, save, saver pack or whatever they're called. I love selling these. Um, if you guys don't like are scared of big items, this is one that I can teach you that's actually a lot easier than you think. Ronco rotisserie ovens. You can normally find them in relatively good shape. It's one of those types of things that people use like once or twice and then they never use it again and then it takes up so much space in their house that they just donate it, get rid of it, put it at a garage sale, things like that. This one was in excellent, excellent condition. As you can see, like the um, the... Some of the pieces had never been used. The heat reflector in the back obviously had a little bit of wear to it, but this one sold for fullest price of $109 free shipping. And I offer free shipping on these to compete with everybody else because a lot of people do calculated shipping and it's mad expensive. So I just mark my price up and I know that this is going to cost me about $25 at most 30 if it's going all the way to California and I'm in Florida with UPS or FedEx. So, you know, I obviously minus that. But the average sale for one of these is probably between $70 and $90. So I list mine a little higher and offer free shipping, and they normally sell really fast. So Ronco rotisserie ovens, you bubble wrap it a bunch, and you stuff it in a box, and that's it. I've never had one break. I've never had a customer complain. So make sure you be on the lookout for those. That one I paid $10 for. This is something I had for a really long time. This is a Back to the Future Auto World slot car set. And if you can see in the title, it says open box, no cars. Now this item I've actually sold like five times on eBay, but people don't read the description or the title sometimes because they just see a good price and they want to buy it. So I messaged the buyer every single time I sold it and said, I want you to know the cars are not included. Did you see the title? And the buyer always asks to cancel this one. Um, I had it listed for the longest time for 125. And I finally accepted an offer of $100 plus shipping on it just because I wanted it gone at this point. I messaged the buyer. I made sure he knew the cars weren't included. I've got positive feedback and I'm really happy to have it gone. I picked it up at a garage sale for $7, like well over a year ago. I sat on this for a really long time hoping to maximize my profits. Um, but because it didn't have the cars, it just turned into a headache. So I still made a lot of money on it and I'm really happy with the sale. This I'm sharing with you guys because it was an Instagram pickup and um, I bought this from somebody's story sale on their Instagram story. It's a vintage Chicago Bulls shirt. Um, so I paid up for this. I paid $35 shipped for it and I sold it uh, for $88.88, a full price sale, and it went to Canada. So um, the buyer also paid some international shipping. This was a fun little sale. I love vintage t-shirts. I'm not like huge into them. Uh, as far as like rally roots and some of those guys that are really experts in them. 
but when I can find a cool one, I bought it for myself actually, because I thought it was a cool graphic, but the length of the shirt was a little too short for me. So I ended up listing it. Um, vintage Chicago Bulls stuff is really popular because of the Netflix series. Dennis Rodman stuff is very popular just because of who he is. Um, so anything Bulls or, you know, Dennis Rodman, basketball, sporting equipment will sell uh, relatively well. So this sold very fast for me, probably less than three weeks of listing it. This is a pair of toddler shoes, and I'm sharing these with you guys just to show you that, you know, these look like big Jordan uh, fours in the picture. But if you really look at it like they're toddler shoes, you can see right there how small they are. Um, these are Jordan four motorsports. Again, I don't know Jordans. I don't know hype shoes, but I'm sharing this because all I did was look up the tag number, which should be right there. 308 500 dash 117. And this sold for 39.99 free shipping. And this only costs about four bucks to ship because they're so lightweight, but people really like to make their kids, you know, look, um, look cool and, you know, have, have matching outfits with their stuff. If they like to, uh, you know, have the Jordans and things like that. I'm not into it, but I think it's really cool that people are into it and obviously you can make money from it. So these were a good will pick up for probably $2.99 or $3.99. Next up is a rock band, uh, wired fender demo model kiosk guitar. Now it, it's very unlikely that you'll find this in the wild, but I'm sharing it just because you can see the cord right here is like a kiosk model cord. So this was a guitar that sat in a GameStop, for example, when Guitar Hero first came out for the Xbox 360 or a newer, you know, let's say Guitar Hero 3 World Tour, you know, when you can go into the GameStop and play the game. Uh, so this was the kiosk. This was actually in a pickup on Facebook Marketplace where someone was giving away a rock band set for free with three guitars and the drum set. I offered them 20 bucks just so that they wouldn't have a bunch of people trying to race to them. I left immediately, went and picked it up. This was included in the deal, so I separated it out. I listed it for $199, and I accepted a best offer of $140 plus shipping uh, because I had been sitting on it for a little bit with a lot of likes and watchers, but no hits. Someone offered me 140 and the most recent comp on that same guitar was like 125 So I was selling it for more than the most recent comp. And yeah, so if you ever come across one of these, they're a lot more valuable than the regular Guitar Hero guitar. This was a 50 cent garage sale pickup, guys. This vintage Double R Ralph Lauren sweater sold for full list price of $89 plus the buyer paying shipping. Um, as you can see, I'm using my reseller ruler, which is pretty cool. This was a newer pickup for me. I put the measurements in the listing and there's the tag. The double R right there um, is very, very sought after for Ralph Lauren stuff. And if you can find it, it's worth a lot of money. This was even a size small. I could have sold it for a lot more if it was a large or an XL. Uh, so it took a very specific buyer, but, and it was a very simple graphic, like very, really nothing on it, but super clean. So I'm very happy with the sale. Paid 50 cents at a garage sale for it. This is just going to be a little teaser for my tool video, and this will be included in the tool video as well because I'm gonna share with you everything that I sold from that tool haul. But this was one of them. I accepted a best offer for this of $265. It's a fluke multimeter. Again, when you guys watch this video with the tools, you'll see I know nothing about any of these tools. But all I did was look it up, type in fluke-88 multimeter, and you'll see the comps on these are insane. The guy I got all these tools from was like a Chrysler Jeep Dodge mechanic for 30 years. He had tons of accolades and awards and, you know, uh, gold plated wrenches and tools that he got as like um, awards for being there for so long. This was just one of the many things that I've sold from that haul. It sold for 265 plus the buyer paying shipping. And I haven't had one return, one customer complaint about any of the tools that I've sold from that haul. So that's a little teaser to let you guys know, I paid $500 for everything that I got at that haul and this one tool paid for almost half of it. So that's crazy, right? Next up, for those of you guys who doubt video games, like um, this Nintendo Wii with Wii Sports bundle right here sold for full list price of $109.99 with the buyer paying shipping. This um, can go priority mail. I believe I sent it uh, FedEx because it was a little cheaper, but you know, if you're pinching pennies, then it really wasn't that much of a difference. I think priority mail is $16 and FedEx was like 11 or 12, but every dollar you can make is, uh, absolutely worth it. I do flat rate shipping. So the buyer paid $11 and 99 cents, which is why I went FedEx. But a lot of people don't think that the Nintendo Wii's have a lot of value or like, for example, 
you know, I'm not jocking him or, or bashing him, but Cincinnati Picker, I saw him once sell this almost exact same bundle for like $60 plus shipping on his uh, on one of his packing videos. And I even left him a comment. I'm like, listen, man, you can sell them for a lot more. The prices are up on Nintendo Wii's. Um, this was a clean unit and it sold for full price. So don't undervalue your video games. They will sell very fast. I promise you that. I had this listed for less than 24 hours. This was a great pickup uh, if, or a great sale. This was in my Rally Roots buyout if you saw that video. Uh, if you haven't, go back and watch the last three videos I put out from the shoes I got from Rally Roots. Ryan, if you're watching this, shout out to you, man. I have actually sold three of these pairs. There was four of these new inbox, new balance with the bundle that I got from Ryan. And I've sold three of the four pairs of these shoes for $107 with free shipping. No fees, again, for athletic shoes, over $100. And so just, I paid paid $3,000 for everything from Ryan. And literally in three pairs of shoes that I've sold, just on this one specific model, I've made 10% of my money back. It's crazy to think about it like that. There's over 700 pairs of shoes, basically. So, uh, yeah, a great sale. New Balance is a great brand. The Made in the USA ones is what makes these so special. The 1400s, the 900s models are all worth a lot of money. You can find them sometimes at Ross and Burlington. Um, I like to take pictures of all angles. The laces are not tied onto these shoes uh, from the original box, so that's the way I left them, so people didn't think that they were pre-owned. And uh, yeah, great sale, New Balance. People sleep on New Balance, but it's a great brand to sell. Next up, this was an insane sale. I honestly wasn't even expecting to sell it. I was gonna Facebook Marketplace it, and um, I decided to just post it up on eBay as well. This was a vintage wooden rocking chair. I found it at Goodwill recently for $5.99. I thought the graphic and the paint and the uh, craftsmanship on it was just really nice. Uh, there's no brand, no name, no label on it. So all I did, as you can see in the description right here, vintage child's rocking horse, handmade wooden. And that's all that there is to it. Um, and this is like shipping a rock band set. That video you can go watch as well on how to ship a rock band set. All you have to do is take like a... Uh, uh, U-Haul or a, a Home Depot box and, you know, trim it, score it on the sides to make it longer. Um, and then this fit perfectly in one of those boxes. It ended up costing me a little more than, I think it cost me about $50 to ship and I charged the buyer $39, but it sold for $75 and I paid six bucks for it. So it really didn't bother me that much. It ended up going to, I think, California. So of course it cost me the most money possible, but still a really funny sale. No brand, no nothing like that. It was just super clean. You know, don't be afraid to try new stuff, guys. Like, I just sold that for $75. Next up, this was in one of my flea market videos. Guess uh, George S. George Marciano right here is a great um, bolo. Jean jackets especially, but Guess, anything Guess vintage does sell. The the There's like a yellow tag, a green tag, and a red tag, I think. If you're watching this, leave me let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong, but... The red ones are vintage, I believe, from the 90s, and then they kind of get older from there. I pointed out the flaws, showed the measurements with my reseller ruler, and this sold on my 25% um, clothing sale uh, for $56.25 with the buyer paying shipping. And I got this in a bundle of stuff at the flea market. I paid, I think, $25 for two PlayStation 2s, this guest jacket, and uh, like one or two other shirts from his booth. So... I really have probably about less than $5 or about $5 into this item if you do an average buy cost. Uh, but I did sell the PlayStation 2 already on Facebook Marketplace as well uh, for $140 plus shipping. So, I mean, I'm really in the green already, but I like to do average buy costs. So, moving on, this is just a bolo. Um, anything military, Army, Navy, uh, Air Force, Marines... You know, those kinds of things. If it's vintage, it will sell fast. This was a Goodwill pickup. I paid $4.99 for this hoodie. And it's just a navy hoodie. There's really nothing crazy about it. It's just a vintage hoodie. Honestly, my pictures weren't even that great for this one. I could have steamed it. It was all wrinkly. Uh, nice spell out on the back. I paid $5 for it and it sold for $40 free shipping. Threw it in a padded flat rate envelope for $7.90 or whatever they are now. So, I mean, obviously it's not a ton of money, but it's fast money. And um, you can sell stuff like this really quick. These always fly off the shelf when I find them. All right, guys, the last couple things here uh, for this video. This is a Dance Dance Revolution Red Octane Ignition Pad. I picked this up in my thrifting video with my son, Asher. We got this at a Salvation Army for, it was uh, $16 and then everything was half off. So we paid $7.99 for it. 
and it sold for full list price of $125 with the buyer paying shipping. Now this is for a game. Uh, I believe it works for like the PlayStation. Um, I'm not sure again, which, which model it was for. It should be, uh, it's actually a multi-platform. So it had different plugs that you could plug it into here. You can see like the wires are wrapped in there, but I try not to take it completely out of the box. It was in excellent shape. I did open it to just plug it into a PlayStation two to make sure that it works. And it did, uh, dance dance revolution, like the thicker mats like this are major, major bolos. And this one being in the box was just a great feature there. So be on the lookout for DDR stuff. The individual games aren't really worth much. Some of them are because they're more rare, but um, some of the mats are very popular because th these ones don't tend to like rip and slip like the thin, the tiny thin ones. This I just had to share at the end of this video, guys, is this major melon Mountain Dew. Look at the background. I took the picture of this inside of the Super Walmart. I just happened to run into these. I'm always looking for stuff to make money on. And I was like, I'd never seen that flavor before. Scanned the barcode, looked it up, and sure enough, there was a couple solds on this, and I had just hit the market right at the beginning of the listings, and now it's flooded, of course, but um, I sold quite a few of these in the Diet Mountain Dew and the regular Mountain Dew for $16.99 free shipping and $19.99 free shipping for the Diet Mountain Dew, so of the Major Melon. So it just goes to show you can literally sell anything out there, guys. Just a bottle of Mountain Dew. I rolled it up in bubble wrap and put it in a padded flat rate envelope and shipped it out, baby. So let's get that bread. I paid like a dollar something per bottle. It's just more of a funny sale than super profitable, but you can make money on just about anything. Last item I'm going to share in this video, guys, of course, like I said, this is not all of my sales by any means, but just some stuff for you guys to learn and be on the lookout for. This was sitting in a pile of loose PlayStation 2 games that I got in a major bundle I from Connor and Penny from months and months and months ago, actually last year at this point. Um, around this time last year, no, it was about March last year, I bought out someone's entire eBay store and there was a ton of video games and this was in a box with a bunch of loose games. I didn't know that it was a bolo until I decided to um, start looking some of them up, the loose games, because a lot of them are like NHL 2004 and you know that those games aren't worth anything, but Silent Hill, Silent Hill series, most of them are all bolos. This sold instant, almost instantly within an hour of listing for fullest price of $50 free shipping. And of course it cost me like three bucks to ship, but this is all profit. I made so much money from that buyout. It's not even funny, uh, but Silent Hill is a great bolo to be on the lookout for. And um, I also showed the scratches. I said it's untested or actually no, this one was tested. I sold another game that was untested, but anyway, so a great sale there. And yeah, guys, it's just um, amazing what, what you can sell on eBay, what you can make money on. I am a full-time reseller and a full-time um, uh, realtor as well, or a part-time realtor, I guess you could say, but a uh, full-time reseller. I love everything that I do. I also have sales on Mercari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, uh, and Poshmark. If you guys want to see a video on those platforms and what sold, let me know in the comment section below. Also, share your bolos with me or let me know what you thought was the best item or something that you learned that was new from this video. Um, and leave it down in the comment section. Make sure to hit the like button for me. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed and be on the lookout for the what sold video of all the tools that I got. It's going to be a really good one. You'll, I think you'll learn a lot. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace money.